nine o'clock at night and I was running for my life down the Ruhu shed. There was a cloud of tear gas behind me and in the middle of that cloud were about a dozen CRS goons, the biggest policemen you've ever seen in your life with huge batons and helmets. They had just stormed the barricades that we had built at Place Michel. Every shop was closed and every door was locked and I was hoping that I could get to the Seine and jump in. But when I got to Saint-Jacques, there was a whole bus full of CRS guys. And so I cut across the street. Now I'm in Rue de la Boucherie, and I see a light. One light. And I run down, and I see this light. It's the one inside of a crazy old bookstore. And there's an old man at the desk. He's all alone. I run in the door. I'm wearing an American football helmet. I have a scarf across my face like this, an old trench coat around me. And I look at him, and I go, cut CRS. And he goes, get upstairs. And I ran upstairs, he flicked off the lights, shut the door, we both ran up, and I looked down, and there they, we saw them running by, screaming and sh pounding the cobblestones. And then I looked up, and there, across the Seine, there's Notre Dame, and the far tower, the top of the tower, these students are up there, and they hung the biggest red flag you ever saw, blowing out over the Place Notre Dame, kilometer zero. And he looks, and he grabs my own, and he says, isn't this the greatest moment of your entire life? And that's how I first met George Whitman. People come to my door as uh, so tumbleweeds drifting in the winds of winds of chance, and they I like to think they go out as enlightened citizens of the universe. bookstore is a sort of a labyrinth, sort of sanctuary of consciousness. To me, the, the labyrinth is like about consciousness. You know, Daedalus taking the strain and going in the maze with the, 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 the Minoan king. Whitman was sort of like that Minoan king or the temple priest. And we all had our own little strings or threads that came into that labyrinth. And it, it was like a little catacombs of books. That famous toilet, the the, the toilet paper was even books, you know, there that you would tear a page out. <laughs>